Good evening to you, East Texas. I'm Christelle Phillips. Glad you're with us tonight. The Huntington Independent School District is inching closer to a new policy that would allow select individuals on their campuses to carry concealed weapons. East Texas News 9's Leah Hughes talked with parents who also happen to be teachers at Huntington ISD. The Huntington ISD School Board decided that they will vote on whether or not the district will adopt a concealed carry policy for their district at their next meeting. HISD Superintendent Dr. Eric Wright drafted a generic policy based on research compiled from the Texas Association of School Boards, Van and Herald ISDs. Authorized school employees and trustees who have obtained and maintained a current license in accordance with state law to carry a concealed handgun are eligible to uh, be authorized to possess a firearm on school property. Huntington High School teacher and parent Tommy Bledsoe is for the policy, but it's his second choice. It all depends on the economics. Officers would be great if we could afford them, and if not, we would have to go to the concealed handgun program. But uh, it's going to cost a lot of money to go with officers, and this may be our only way out economically. Adrian Neal also teaches at the high school and has two kids attending HISD. Neal says he would be in favor of it if it was managed properly. Of course, proper training with uh, police authorities, uh, the right kind of ammunition uh, that would not cause residual injury, uh, and probably a constant um, evaluation of the policy as far as staff moving in and out and who would be uh, the right, right person to possibly carry. Would you, as a, as a teacher, would you carry a handgun? It wouldn't bother me. It's a big responsibility, but teachers always accept responsibility to defend their children. In Huntington, Leah Hughes, KTRE, East Texas News 9. HISD School Board President Ben Watson made sure to emphasize that if they do adopt the policy, it doesn't mean guns will be on campuses, just that the district has the option to use the policy.